Nice release. Yikes. That's good. Good morning. Day three on the St. Joe. Fourth of July. Happy Independence Day. I can't think of a better way to spend today than completely off the grid at the St. Joe catching these just absolutely beautiful cutthroat. Love it. Had another great day yesterday. Thanks again for joining me this morning. I got my coffee in hand. I went to uh, a pretty productive spot on the river by that walk bridge and where I had some luck yesterday. So I'm going to do a little nymphing this morning with that same um, pheasant tail nymph and see if I can uh, catch a few fish. Let's do this. Fish on. Okay, there's nothing better than getting up at daylight and being the first person on the river. Oh, missed it. There we go, fish on. First fish of the day. Nice, yeah, it's a cutthroat. Sweet. Oh. A net would be nice, but as you remember, my net is donated to some lucky fisherman on the St. Joe. Wow, nice fish. That thing, that's a beautiful fish. Wow. All right, buddy. There we go. Right where he's supposed to be. Nice. Oh, fish on! Look at the colors on that. That is just a beautiful fish. So pretty. They got orange on their belly. Just a pretty fish. Thank you very much. Well, after a great morning back on the river, over there is my fishing buddy, Kobe. Oh, just doing a little video taping. Do a little indicator fishing, hoping the dries start coming up again. Had a great morning. Now let's see if we can get one on, a, on the indicator. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh no, he's spinning. Yep, damn it. Uh, he was well hooked too. Shit. I'm sorry, Kobe. I, I meant I was doing some vlogging. Isn't that what it's called? I'm doing a little vlogging. <laughs> Videotaping is, I think it's probably uh, very 1980-ish. <laughs> I'm done videotaping. Fish on. Oh, I got a nice one. On the nymph. Looks like a good one. Right where you're supposed to be too, right in that slot. Nice cutthroat. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful too. Just gorgeous looking cut. Still marvel on just how pretty they are. At least itself. It's always nice that way. That is definitely bushwhacking it. That was a big cutthroat. That's where I'd be living too though.
got a huge cutthroat on, just in the worst possible spot. Lots of brush. Got him right by that log. Keeps trying to come under. A big one. Oh shit. Oh yes. Oh my god, that's a big fish. Holy crap. Took my little dry fly, little gray wolf. Ah, it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna hook this guy. Oh shit! Come on, baby. 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 Oh. Wow. Unbelievable. This fish is gorgeous that look at that fish right there that is a big st joe cutthroat oh my gosh beautiful fish oh self-released oh, oh, oh wow i am really surprised that i was able to get that one in incredible right there by that log wow epic Wow, so the fish gods had my back on that fish. That was probably an 18 inch cutthroat, St. Joe cutthroat, beautiful fish. Caught him just beyond that log. You can see I'm kind of in the swift current, pushed up against the bank. The fish ran under the log, then downstream, pulling. If I wouldn't have had 3X tippet on, there's no way I would have gotten that into the net. And then of course I lost it out of the net, back in the net. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> I guess some of the best fish are the most chaotic. Well, I need, I need to try to kind of walk up that way, otherwise I gotta walk all the way back down river, but I'm trying to get to that bridge so I can uh, get back to the road and go have some lunch, but wow. And the one nice thing about camping and fishing, is that you could bring yourself a cocktail. Cheers got to keep it you know to a degree to where I don't fall in the river let's go catch some more fish cheers oh the evening dry fly hatch is happening here on the St. Joe got a little gray wolf stimulator on I just released my fourth fish oh there's a good one. Oh, yeah that's a good one man they're just blowing this fly up as soon as it lands on the water BAM Said they're just blowing this gray wolf up. This is a decent fish too. Ooh yeah. We need the net for this guy. That, that guy right there. It's a beautiful cutthroat. Very nice. Alright, buddy. Be alright. When you're ready. Nice. Sweet. Oh, they are liking the gray wolf stimulator tonight. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Little guy. Oh man. Go grow up. Grow up to be a big fish. Sweet. Man. Seven fish already in just about a half hour. A lot of small ones, but we did get that one nice one that was probably 13, 14 inches. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, can you see that? Oh, he went after it three freaking times. I missed it all three times. Maybe that's the one disadvantage of having a cocktail while you're fishing. Three times, that's nuts. Chased it all the way down. Oh, there's a good one. That's a good fish. Oh, nice. This is like my 10th fish now. 10 fish in about 20 minutes of fishing. See him? Beautiful fish. Oh, good. He released himself. You gotta love those kind.
I moved up, I let, uh, let Kobe down there grab that spot that's been really hot. See if you can get a few on. I moved up river, it's nice turn in the river here. I think you're gonna hold fish. Feeling good about this. I already see one rising. Oh geez, that's a big fish. Oh my God. Oh, did you see that? Holy shit, he came clean out of the water for it. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. That, that truly was amazing. I mean, what a beautiful fish. And for him to just hang out like that so I can get a shot at him, that's even better. But trust me guys, I know that I need a new net. The net that I have is a backup net and it's terrible. It's just noses in the fish. It's terrible for catch and release. So um, since I lost my net of 20 years in the beginning of this trip, uh, I'm gonna invest in a good catch and release net because uh, you know it's really important, A, to land these things, but to make sure they, they're released unharmed. So. Uh, promise that I'm, uh, I'll, I'll have a net here in the very short term. All right, let's, let's get some more fish. This is amazing. This, that's probably my 12th fish and I've been here less than an hour. It's so great. Fish on. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> it's so great. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a nice, that's a slab. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, gorgeous fish. <laughs> Chaos. Chaos ensues. <laughs> that is a beautiful fish. Holy shit. Look at that. Oh, so do I. I mean, my net so sucks. Oh, that is such a pretty fish. Nice. Unbelievable what's happening out here. This is what you hope for on a dry fly situation where it's like every other cast and you got a fish assaulting it. It's so great. Hold them up. Thank you, little guy. Nice. Nice job, man. Beautiful fish. All right, let's do this. Oh, oh right there. <laughs> Man, he just smashed it. <laughs> oh, this is so great. <laughs> That's unbelievable. He had just like 15 fish in there. I've been here an hour. It's nuts. And they're all quality fish. Beautiful cut. So pretty. Okay. <laughs> it's so great. Oh, man. It's like every cast you can anticipate a fish hitting it, you know? That's so awesome. Wow, what a great evening of fishing. I mean, it's just been off the hook, unbelievable. And so great to have that guy, Kobe, with me. Man, it's just, we've been, been fishing now for, gosh, about a day and a half, and we've caught so many fish, so many great cutthroat. And he's such a great fly fisherman, and it's just a pleasure to have him out here and, and enjoying the experience with me. But. You know what? I'm just gonna enjoy fishing the rest of this evening. It's uh, got about an hour left of light and 
Really appreciate you uh, joining me tonight. Thank you. Uh, if you subscribe, thank you so much for your support. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the thumbs up button. And welcome to the journey. Welcome to my channel. All right, fish on guys. Looking forward to editing these videos and getting them posted. Talk to you soon. See ya.